live from historic Nevada City, California, Touchdown Productions celebrating 17 years of Independence Day parade coverage, and NCTV, Nevada County Digital Media Center celebrating 20 years of community television. We are proud to present a live telecast of the 112th annual Independence Day parade, Nevada County, explore the outdoors. Sit back and enjoy a piece of Nevada County history as we celebrate the 238th birthday of America. It's a beautiful summer morning here in Nevada City, California, just perfect for our local Independence Day Parade celebrating the birth of our nation. Good morning, Nevada County and America, and welcome to the 230th birthday of our nation's independence. I'm Cheryl Noble, your host for today's festivities, joined this year by Neil Locke and Gil Dominguez. Our producer is Gilbert Dominguez, and our director inside the Commander 2 is Daniel Paddock. And of course, he is joined by the rest of the Touchdown production team, Steve Baker, Lauren Unger, Tony Rondini, Bianca Cruz Manafort, and Lynn Dominguez in the NCTV studio. Good morning, Cheryl, and thank you. And happy bir happy Fourth of July! It's still a happy birthday. Yes, absolutely. To all of you and everyone on our worldwide audience, this is Neil Locke, City Clerk of Nevada City, trying to help out today with this wonderful production and a beautiful day. We'll be here for the next two hours for the 112th parade of our community. And a good morning to you, Neil, and of course a special welcome to our viewers from around the world. We are fortunate today to be able to stream our live coverage of the parade on our website at nevadacountytv.org. And this broadcast is being underwritten by our special sponsors, Network Real Estate and Atria Senior Living. And we are blessed to be uh, between two cities of Grass Valley and Nevada City which alternates the parade. This year, of course, it's in Nevada City. Next year, it's going to be in Grass Valley. And this is the 112th year, Neil, of the collaboration of the parades. So this is a very special day. Of course, our theme this year is Nevada County, explore the great outdoors. And speaking of outdoors, we are blessed to have as our Grand Marshal, Evan Strong, who is the Paralympian gold medalist and he's a resident here of Nevada City. And finally, Neil, he gets to be in a parade. We tried earlier this year. <laughs> yes, we did. A little rainy, a little snow. A little snow. <laughs> so didn't stop the party. Didn't stop the party. It went on indoors. And we'll see him in our parade. And uh, also another uh, ever popular crowd pleaser, the Orfer Prison Marching Band is going to make two appearances in the parade. They've been absent for a few years, so we're so delighted to have them on board. So we've got a lot of coverage ahead. We're going to take a quick break right now. When we come back, you'll see all the parade's coverage, and uh, we'll get started with our first uh, entry in just a few moments. You're watching the Independence Day Parade right here in Nevada City by Touchdown Productions on NCTV. Network Real Estate began because two people believed a real estate company founded on such principles as integrity, professionalism, and customer service could help buyers and sellers make their dreams of property ownership a reality. Today, more than 30 years later, Kathy and Bill Papola have grown Network Real Estate into a successful business and community leader, staffed by people who share their dedication to achieving your complete satisfaction. Network Real Estate. Welcome to Atria Senior Living. Atria offers independent and assisted living, life guidance memory care, and temporary stays for those recovering from surgery or want to sample all of Atria's benefits. Residents enjoy an array of year-round activities that promote learning, creativity, exercise, and spirituality. Atria is a pet-friendly community conveniently located at 150 Sutton Way in Grass Valley. Services, amenities, lifestyle, and care Atria Grass Valley, for you or a loved one. Are you ready to buy or sell your home or property? Placer Title is your local title and escrow company located right here in the heart of Nevada County. We combine the stability of a national insurer with all the benefits of on-site title and escrow professionals. 
Being voted the best title company by the Union Readers for the past seven years is a true testament to our local roots and unparalleled customer service. Stop by one of our two convenient locations and thank you for keeping your business local. It's time to visit the newly remodeled B&C True Value Home and Garden Center. The new B&C has completely changed for your shopping convenience. Their new expanded garden center has everything you need, including expert advice on trees, shrubs, and perennials. Check out their new website and the new spring hours. And thank you for voting B&C the best hardware and building supply in 2012. So start right, start here at B&C True Value Home and Garden Center. We're at SPD Market in Nevada City asking people what they like about SPD. I've been shopping here for about 20 years and the people are very courteous and I especially like the meat counter. It's nice to have a great selection, very helpful. Because it's local, it's small, they have a wonderful selections of things I need and the personnel are very nice. And that's why people love SPD Markets in Nevada City and Grass Valley. Welcome to Plaza Tire and Automotive Service in Grass Valley. At Plaza Tire and Automotive Service, the customer comes first. We only do what's right for the customer, not necessarily what's right for business. Third generation family member, learned all that I know from my grandpa Fred, my dad, my uncle Mike, my grandma. My entire family's been a huge part of learning about the automotive industry. Grass Valley is our fourth location, and you can also find this in Colfax, Penn Valley, and Nevada City. I am Blake Hauser, and I welcome you to join us for the grand opening at our Grass Valley location. Welcome back to the live coverage of the Independence Day Parade taking place here in Nevada City where the parade is about to start in just a few minutes and we'll also be joined in just a few minutes by Gil Dominguez who is our street reporter for today and uh, Neil Yes, excuse me. <laughs> it's nice to have you work with you again after the Evan Strong party at uh, Miners. That was in April, and of course, we were uh, rained and snowed out. We were planning a parade for him then, so that was a great, great honor for him. Yes, and that wasn't meant to be. It was this is the parade This for is the him. parade, yes. And of course, we are proud of his accomplishments as a Paralympian. And uh, we just learned recently that he was nominated for an ESPY award in Best Male Athlete with a Disability. Yes, with uh, on ESPN. And, and you can vote as many times as you want to, which oh. I found out. And I didn't realize that was legal, but it is. Good. So get on there and vote for that man because he should have that award. Absolutely. So the, uh, the website to go to is ESPN.com slash ESPYS and vote for our Evan Strong. And I'm looking at the crowd today, Neil. Of course, it is picture perfect here. The weather is comfortable. We had a little break in the heat wave and we've got a beautiful breeze. The uh, crowd is picking up uh, several, several rows back, <laughs> yes. filling up. People come out early. They do. They've had there were chairs and blankets on the road in the street when I came down at 9:30. So they were in here much <laughs> earlier than that. Staking out the good spot. Yes, absolutely. Trying and to find the shady spot. So another highlight of today's parade that you'll want to look for is the soapbox derby. And new this year was NCTV's Or Car. It was the debut of our Tommy Knocker Or Car, and that's going to be in the parade today. We received an award for best town spirit. Good for you. And it is, uh, uh, we're glad that it's going to be part of the parade. And I mentioned the Orfer Prison Marching Band. They're here. Uh, last time was 2008. They'll be in twice. And then after the parade, they're going to stop in front of the National Hotel and do a 15-minute concert. They're, they're a crowd pleaser. People can't get enough of their antics. No. Oh, we lost it. Yeah. The, uh, they come down. They're the first band that comes through. And then they turn right back around and follow the parade and they end up at the other end and they are the last band and that's the end of the parade when yep. they come marching through then they go down and do since you said they do the concert in front of the national everyone's looking forward to that and then also the fourth of july uh, party continues at the fairgrounds later today so uh, after the parade take the family and head out to the fairgrounds where uh, the gates open at 3 p.m. 
and a full day of activities, entertainment, Treat Street is open, number of bands are there, and of course the highlight is always the, the fireworks that will start at about uh, 9.30 p.m. And then the dance pad is gonna be open, and just an, an array of uh, bands, music, and celebrate under the tall pines and shade. So a full day of family activity. Not only did they combine the parades, but they combined the fireworks display. Because I've been here when they used to do them in Pioneer Park. And, and it then got it got crowded. Too, oh, got crowded and got too many, and then people were complaining about all the ash, and you know how they go. <laughs> so they decided to combine it, let's do it all over in Grass Valley after, after the parade. And they're doing it, and it's great. It's a collaboration with the uh, Grass Valley Chamber, the Grass Valley Downtown Association, and the Nevada City Chamber. And as I mentioned, we've been doing this since 1902. And since 1902, there's been a collaboration of the three entities. And this makes it the 112th Independence Day Parade. So do you have plans to go out to the fairgrounds afterwards? No, I, I have a group of people coming over for a party after the parade. Private so, party. A private one. There you go. Well, I may have to crash that one. Oh, that's good too. <laughs> yeah. So we're seeing more people coming onto the street, finding their place. And of course, we'd like to acknowledge our NCTV VIP tent with some of our oh, special know. guests, Steve Monahan, who is the Chief Information Officer at Nevada County. Steve and his family are here. Thanks for joining us. And we've got some of the Food and Farm Show crew. The Dirt Lady is here. And we see Gil is miking up to do a little bit of street reporting here. Hubba, hubba, hubba. There you go, Gil. Welcome to the crew. Well, thank you very much, Cheryl. And uh, what a great uh, afternoon it is here in Nevada City for the uh, 112th running of the Independence Day Parade. And what a great tradition this is. Of course, the country is only 238 years old. So uh, our community jumped on the parade bandwagon pretty quickly uh, after it became a state and uh, have carried that tradition on. And as we all know, the Union newspaper is uh, uh, celebrating its 150 years, so uh, the community really came alive around that time period, and we're so happy that you can join us here today. What a beautiful day, Cheryl, for a parade. Uh, the streets are filling up like like they typically do here, and it is a hot, hot, hot July uh, morning, as we are still morning here. Of course, they're getting all ready for you at the fairgrounds, so if you're watching this live, be sure to go out there. And that is another great event that uh, both Chambers of Commerce are putting on and another long-standing tradition. You know, Cheryl, a lot of times the Chamber does things for businesses and has mixers, and the public is always invited to those as well. But when you do something like the 4th of July parade for the entire Western Nevada County, well, that's some doing, and that's exactly what Kathy Whittlesey and Keith and Robin Davies are doing out there right now. They're getting that all set and uh, it's just going to be a fabulous day here and neil thank you so much for joining us today on the broadcast you're welcome thank you for thank you for the invitation neil i uh, get to try this again yeah yeah the, <laughs> our evan strong event i heard you mention it already on the air that uh, it was unfortunate that we didn't get a parade that day so he kind of gets a redo gets he a gets redo. a bigger parade now right and the honor as grand marshal and very fitting and deserving honor as well. So here we come right now with the parade. And as usual, Uncle Sam is starting. He needs no Sorry, introduction. He does not. He's our uncle and he's our Uncle Sam. A couple of words for the TV audience, Uncle. There you go, thank you. Wise words from the man himself, Uncle Sam. Post 2655 VFW Banner Mountain Post, Nevada City. They represent all veterans of foreign war. The Color Guard has members from Vietnam, the Gulf War, Iraq, and Afghanistan. Happy 4th of July to you guys.
And how fitting, Cheryl, that the, the parade starts with uh, the military, you know, that uh, actually won the independence for us. A right. ragtag bunch they were back then under General Washington, <laughs> defeating the uh, Redcoats and really fighting war in a new manner that had never been fought before. As you remember, the British would just line up in lines and then you'd shoot and you'd go to the back of the line and it was really a gentlemanly kind of affair. Well, we kind of blew that out of the water, hiding behind rocks and trees and, and really developed the kind of warfare that it took for them to land on our soil and for us to defeat them. Yes, and they wore beautiful red outfits for good target practice. <laughs> so now let's pause right now for the, our national anthem. is sung from the announcing position, which is actually down on Broad and Pine, about 200 feet from us here at our broadcast position, which is across uh, in front of City Hall. Thousands of people here today, Cheryl. Oh, yes. Packed crowd. About 60 entries today, Gil. We're going to be seeing walk in front of our announcer's booth. And we just saw one entry, and coming down is the Vietnam Veterans of America, Nevada County Chapter. And a big thank you to our crew, Cheryl, who spent uh, five or six hours both yesterday and today getting set up for this event. Anytime you do a live telecast, it's a mammoth undertaking, and our guys really stepped up. Yes, a big hand, round of applause for them. There's our guys. Well, when I was in the service, I had the benefit of learning how to drive a deuce and a half, which is what's going by. Oh. It was good. Is that hard? Well, we, General Motors had sold the Army a bunch of ones with automatic transmission, uh -huh. which were good in this country because you needed a street as long as this so you can get across the street because <laughs> they took so long to engage. And here comes our uh, float uh, representing uh, prisoners of war. 1,642 American servicemen who were reported missing in action in Southeast Asia during the Vietnam War and are unaccounted for. Well, really the, the ones that are missing in action totals 83,000 because there are 73,000 still not found from World War II, 7,800 from the Korean War, 126 from the Cold War, wow. and six from the Gulf War. Uh -oh. We salute them. They gave the ultimate. The Marine Corps League just passed. Coming up is Friends of Nevada County Military. Right, and our very own Marianne Slade Troutman there on top of the truck. There she is. Former uh, president of the board of directors of uh, NCTV. Let's see if we can get a word from our uh, friends of Nevada County. How are you guys doing? We're doing very well. We like being in the front of the parade because then we get to participate and then we get to watch. There you go. Have a nice day. So thank them for all the work that they do. And of course, Touchdown Productions, a little bit a part of that uh, as we donate 30 or 40 DVDs to mail out to the crew, uh, to the troops each month. Take that. And actually, Cheryl, what that's done is uh, they're, they're tuning in to NCTV online. Online. 
and on the YouTube channels. That's great. Live streaming. People can see us even while they're on vacation or uh, uh, away the for the weekend. Overseas. Right. And in the military, absolutely. Is this? United We Stand is uh, ready to come down the street. And that's the Welcome Home Vets. Created and sustained a healing community that supports and nurtures veterans, active duty military personnel, and their families. Now, they just took over the uh, 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 Lola Montez house in Grass Valley. Oh, good for them. So when the city uh, chamber left there, they took over that. And that's their base of headquarters now. They needed more room. We've got the Frank Gelino Post 130. The American Legion is the oldest nonpartisan, nonprofit veterans organization formed by veterans for veterans and their family. And I remember Frank Gelino when he was deputy sheriff in this county. Oh, I knew you'd bring some history to this parade. That was and before my time. Here comes the Blue Star Mothers of America. And I remember them from World War II, every house ahead. You have a few words for the... <laughs> all right, the president, a few words. I just want to thank all our kids that are serving, and I want to bring them home. All right, better. that's a good for the July wish. Bring them home. And during World War II, all the houses that had, or all the families that had someone in the service, they had a star in the window. Here's nice. a Nevada City standard now as Rupert T. Whizbang <laughs> comes down and marches right into camera one. A crowd favorite, indeed. The Orpher Prison Marching Band. Let's enjoy them. And of course, trailing the prison band is the traditional dead chicken. <laughs> Dragging behind the tuba. Dragging behind the tuba. First you gotta, you gotta love tradition. The first parade in town, I saw them and I thought they really were prisoners, prisoners. out for the day. I think it comes from their gated community or something. Oh, I don't know where it came from. Their gated community, they felt imprisoned. Next right. up is our Grand Marshal. We'll see if we can get a word from him. Evan Strong and his wife, Mariah. Evan Strong! Happy Independence Day to you. Now, we didn't get to have a parade for you earlier this year. Looks like you get a redo here. I know, it rained on my parade back in March. <laughs> so I got a rebate. And being able to share this with my wife, Mariah, is yeah, so much fun. Yeah, what a, what a great job. Well, listen, congratulations to you, and thank you for being our Grand Marshal this year. It's so good to be the Grand Marshal. Being able to bring gold back to the gold country is a major honor. Thank you. All right, thank you, guys. Enjoy. Evan Strong, our Grand Marshal this year. Well, he looks very relaxed after a little trip to Mexico to relieve yeah. and to have the pressure taken off after his wonderful year. And be sure and vote for him so he makes, gets another award. An SB award. That would be another... Uh, oh, they're going to perform right down here. Well, let's talk to our, our handy-dandy carriage driver. I'm doing real good. Actually, it's, a, it's an honor of uh, Evan Strong. I'm representing Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of fun. All right, Chuck Shea, our carriage driver, driving uh, Evan Strong today. And of course, the, they don't have a pooper scooper anymore. They have a pooper bucket oh. <laughs> right there underneath the, the carriage. So another job eliminated by technology. No, no little. <laughs> 
Simple technology. As oh, long yeah. as you're not standing too close, it's fine. It's like the buggy whip driver. That's right. I mean, buggy whip makers. They don't have a job anymore either. Okay, here we come. Our very next float. City Council, Nevada City. City Council, Nevada City. Let's see if we can get a word with the mayor. Sally Harris. Sally Burger. Harris. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Fourth of July. Thank what a gorgeous day we're having. We're it's just stunning. It is, and we were just talking about how Evan's first parade got rained out, but now he gets a redo. It's tremendous. <laughs> it's wonderful. He's a great guy. Did you interview him? Oh, yeah, of He's course. He's terrific. We're so lucky to have him be a part of Nevada City. Well, we're lucky to have you as well, so thank, thank you, you very much. Thank you. And all the council. <laughs> got Dwayne Strasser over there with his back to us. He's not being snobbish. He's just looking the other way. <laughs> Thank you. Coming up is another uh, crowd pleaser, Gil and Neil. What can we say about uh, the clampers, huh? Well, Always I think first we have the Nevada City Fire Department. Oh, that's right. Okay, one fire truck before. I got ahead of myself. That's all right. Looking forward to it. See, you're used, you're used to the great big one that they came down with last, the last time. Well, I see a hook and ladder way up the street, but uh, right now this is engine number three for Nevada City. Hook and Ladder's Grass Valley. Oh, okay. They, they share also. Oh, that's good to know. That's why you're here, Neil. That's yep. right. <laughs> <laughs> Give us all those facts that we don't know. <laughs> now, Cheryl. All right, another crowd please at the moment I've been waiting for. The hilarious goofballs, but ever so uh, wonderful and dedicated to services in our community. They get overlooked for their, their historic contributions. The Clampers. Can't beat the Clampers. Well, they won't let you. I know. <laughs> <laughs> They'll gang up on you. But no, they, they, they do a lot of great work as they well do. and have a good time doing it. Yes. Yeah. They put a lot of the historic plaques around our historical buildings. Especially the one down by the National to the Ladies of the Night. That's right. <laughs> Gotta have those. <laughs> Gotta honor them. Yeah. They're all part of the history. And it looks like they are several entries long. Wow. So good for them. An old fire truck. And here comes engine number 10. They're enlarging their fire protection vehicles. Look at that. Oh, here comes the. That's got to be like a 67, isn't it? Before my time, Gil. Ha, ha, ha. Well, this one's before our time right here. <laughs> yes, I, I can say that. The little roadster. Yeah, but it's been chopped, so that's the new one now. Uh-huh. Too bad he couldn't afford an engine cover. Yes. And, and there's the, the, the soap uh, box derby entry. The outhouse ever popular. When they're going down uh, the street in that, they have uh, toilet paper rolling down the back, <laughs> flying out the back of it. So. Instead of a dead rubber duck like the uh, Orpha prison van. Right. Their signature is the toilet paper. Here's the hook and ladder. And on the back of that is uh, the Grass Valley City Council. I don't think I'm going to be able to get a, a, a word with uh, Dan Miller, but I see Jan Arbuckle. Maybe I can get up there. I doubt it, though. I don't, I don't think we can get a word from you, Dan. <laughs> That's all right. They'll make up for it next year in Grass Valley. Good try, Gil. Yeah. Good try. <laughs> well, I was asking him why the supervisors uh, don't uh, participate in the parade, and so he's going to maybe uh, do that. Here's an interesting lady right here. This Looks like you're swimming your way down Broad Street. It's a hot day. We need to do this. The, the tubing down Broad Street, another first. That is the Independent Order of Odd Fellows. Uh, go figure. <laughs> <laughs> and fellow women. And here comes the marching mason. Yeah. I know you. Yeah. Good, buddy. Masons float. We're, we're having a good time. We got a Rolls Royce and 
or trailer and everything. All right. And I got my granddaughter with me. Oh my goodness. Hi. We're having a good time. All right. Okay, so another big contingent of uh, Masons with several entries. What is this one here? Nice. Very nice. It's a Nevada City Rolls Royce Club. Okay. One member, one car. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, if you're going to have a Rolls Royce, you might as well have a club around it. When I lived in Southern California, I had the privilege of driving Rolls, a convertible. This is still part of the uh, Masons. Masons, as we see their big logo here on their flatbed float. And uh, there they are. They're ready to have a good time today. Probably headed out to the fairgrounds, I would imagine. They've got a lodge here in Nevada City over on Spring Street. Isn't that right where their, their lodge is? Pine Street. Pine Street. Yeah. Right. Up, upstairs. Upstairs. Yes. Been there for at least that many years. So here comes the Grass Valley Girl Scouts. Let's get a word with these girls. Hey, girls, how you doing? Good. You having fun in the parade? Yeah. What's your best part? Um, probably going around and seeing all of the friends and families and all right well thank you for being in the parade today thank you. girl scouts of america long-standing tradition cheryl they have girl scouts uh, over in, uh, in indiana indiana absolutely i was keeping quiet i was in the brownies and girl scouts <laughs> got yep. some some good Girl Scout experience Values there. Values and experience, and I'm still a good Girl Scout. That's right. You and, uh, and of course, Brian Hamilton's from Indiana, it, right? He's a Hoosier. This tent is for every year's uh, flowers and gift shop. Oh, with the Girl Scouts. Okay, it's an extension of the Girl Scouts, and there they are on the back. Well, they learn they get learn to explore the outdoors, and that's just the typifying what they do. Plus many other things like well, the Boy Scout. They got a little campfire going in there in the trailer. Too hot for that. <laughs> now we've got the Nevada County Library coming up. Encouraging all of us to read this summer. They've got a summer program called Pause to Read. And the participants are disguised as animals, their favorite animals. Ah. Nice. That's where the pause comes in. Next, we have the Gold Country Celtic Festival or Society. Right, they have their own festival, but today they're just a society. Yeah. Let's and listen to the bagpipes. The bagpiper is wearing a Pith helmet, and they were done in, in Africa and India, and they are they were full of pith, and you soak the hat, water the hat in water, and then keep you cool while you're out marching. I like that idea. Just one of the many uses of pith. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the Empire Mine State Historical Park is coming up, and I. Guys, I mentioned earlier the ore car and making its debut in the Derby this year. We were asked to have our ore car in their annual picnic, which is in August. So you get to see NCTV's ore car and the Empire Mine picnic in August. Well, they just do a great job, them and their docents, of uh, recreating what it was like to be back at part of the mine and the whole right. mine history for hundreds of tourists that come there each year. Thousands. And there's Mr. and Mrs. Bourne up for the summer at their Bourne Mansion. Their Bourne Mansion. We do know it's up for sale. If anybody wants to buy the Empire Mine, talk to the state. Let's keep it here. I heard Lance Amaral was interested. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. Maybe Ken Baker and Gary Tintle. Well, here comes uh, the Gold Country 
49er Rotary Club and carrying the sign is Nate Beeson. Let's go ahead and get a, a word with Nate as he walks. He's district number How one you doing, supervisor. Nate? Well, happy 4th of July. Happy 4th of July. We don't want to stop your progress, but I want to get a, a word from you well, about your duck race. Well, we're going to have the duck races on September 14th. A great cause for the entire community, the schools, the nonprofits. Everybody's got to buy tickets to help out. There you go. Nate himself telling you, okay, you guys have fun today. Nate Beeson, Supervisor, 1st District in Nevada County. Oh, thank you. Oh, they gave us little rubber duckies, Gil. Oh, that means someone's going to have to take a bath. <laughs> the, the duck race. I'll add it to my collection at home. <laughs> got to have a rubber ducky by the tub. We have a dozen yuck. Duck rubber you're duckies. Good, you're, you're cleaning up. Come on over here, buddy. Mike Bratton joining us. Mike, uh, you're marching Hi, with the 49ers. 49er Rotary. That's it. You get your tickets sold. I got well, no, but I've got them in my office. So you come on by and buy some, Gil. You're obligated to me. All right, there All you right. go. Hi, <laughs> 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 yeah, good. All, All right. It's a, it's a great time. Happy Fourth of July. Happy Fourth of July, Gil. See you. All right, Mike Bratton there. There's White Water Willie. Willie. You got some water going here? Yeah, we're good, we're good, we're good. All right, you're All good, right. baby. Thank you. Of course, Whitewater Willie, the official mascot of the duck race. And if you've never seen the duck race, it's really unique how they dump all those ducks into the creek and let them uh, waddle on down. Well, here comes the Sons of Norway, the yeah. Viking crew. Yeah, we're not going to mess with these guys right here. Anybody no. that's carrying a, a sword. And wearing winter boots. And a shield. Alive. And a horn with, or a helmet with horns. I just read in the paper they found a trading post of the Vikings in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan, which is the highest they've ever found any of the Vikings as far as they've traveled. Interesting. And of course, uh, they got hungry on those long trips. So you can see they're doing a little fishing out the back. And uh, they got their little fish dangling right there. We'll go up there and we just do a little chicken. He's got a bite. He's got a bite. He's reeling them in. Look at that. <laughs> oh. That's the kind of shenanigans we're going to be doing all day long. All day. <laughs> the parade brings that out in us. Looks like their Viking Fair is October 25th at the uh, Nevada County Fairgrounds. All right. Next. The Republican Party. The Nevada County Republicans on display today. And it looks like they have another large contingent as well. Several vehicles long. It also includes the Nevada County Republic, Republican Women Federated. And you know what, guys, that's one of the great things about our country is that we've had numerous parties over the 238 years, and uh, that's what keeps uh, the conversation going of democracy. So right. we, we need many different so, opinions in order to keep our country going. Well, one thing for sure, we all come out together and celebrate our nation's birthday, like today. And here comes uh, Anna Ferguson. She is running for Nevada she County is. Judge. Happy Fourth of July. Thank you. Happy Fourth to you, too. Have a great weekend. All right. Thank you. Part of this uh, Republican Party is they're, uh, they're bringing in the uh, Statue of Liberty all the way from New York City for its uh, big appearance here. I think it first came all the way from France. Yes, it was a gift from France, and uh, New York's letting us borrow it today, pulled by a nice-looking John Deere tractor. The lady stands by herself on her flatbed trailer. Coming up is another large entry, the Nevada County Tea Party. And this is another example of democracy in action. 
as the Tea Party Happy birthday, America. rumbles through. Happy birthday, America. Happy birthday, and, and what would our country be without multiple parties to discuss the issues? Isn't that the truth? That's it's the great truth. fun, isn't it? <laughs> it is. It's always worthwhile. Now, how many you got in your contingent here today? You know, I don't know. Uh, not as many walkers as usually. We probably have 50, 75 people here, something like that. That's we're, still we're a very good We're turnout. usually the biggest. Yeah. I understand. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and they got a contingent of uh, motorcycles here. And a little reflex scooter. How cute is that? Mixed in there with all the Harleys. Oh. <laughs> Well, that could, again, it's, it's part of the tea party, party right, right here. And let's get right up there and uh, take a look and see who's inside this float here. Looks like they got it made, guys. They got the cover over on top of it. Staying out of the sun. And of course, there's no host, uh, no shortage of political issues to talk about these days. Everything from the IRS to uh, everything else going on in the government and uh, Tea Party uh, candidates winning across the country. So they're, they're making their mark. Coming up next is a special entry for us, Gil and Neil, because it's Atria Senior Living. They are one of our sponsors that made this broadcast possible today. Thank you and a shout out to Atria Grass Valley. Their entry, they're driving a Ford Flex. You may have seen this car around town taking Atria's residents shopping or to the doctor's appointment. They also have a full-size bus van with a lift. Atria offers 97 residences for assisted living and even memory care. And it looks like they have one of the residences right in there with them. Let's go ahead and meet her. Hi, what's your name? Sybil. <laughs> and are you having fun today? Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much for uh, being in the parade with Atria. Thank you, Atria, for your sponsorship today. Of course, our other sponsor today is Network Real Estate, making this broadcast possible. And everybody was taking the long weekend off and didn't have an entry today, but they are supporting the parade with their sponsorship. So thank you to Network Real Estate. Well, that's as important as an entry. Yes. Okay. Now coming, now is coming the Gold Country German American Club. It uh, was founded in 1985 to provide members with an active connection to the traditions, music, language, food, and social customs of the old country. Although many of them, also many of the uh, members came to the United States from Germany or Austria, at least half the members are from other European countries or were born in America and interested in German culture activities that the club offers and the alpine dancers will now perform the yes a <laughs> dance from austria <laughs> I, th I was hoping you know how to pronounce that the boar i don't know germany i don't german. know germany uh, let's either. see borscher a da it's a d dance from austria austria yes all right but i always liked it and enjoyed sergeant S schultz yes <laughs> i see nothing and he did see nothing, and he was very friendly to the Americans. I'm not sure they're gonna, we're going to get a dance here for us uh, that's probably reserved for the uh, judges, which are just down the road, but we'll see what happens. 
Got a little bit of a gap in the parade that they need to make up with. There's several categories of judging today. Individual entries, sweepstakes, fire department, best band, junior group, best commercial. A lot of opportunities for awards. So many immigrants uh, made Nevada County possible, especially back in the mining era, uh, which is the created the present day town, Neil, as you know. Now the Cornish did very well. They're the greatest miners in the world. The, and now comes the Celtic, oh, the Celtic Festival. Festival. Yeah, KBMR. KBMR. I yeah. mean, they do so many great events uh, during the year. Don't want to stop you from walking, but uh, happy Fourth of July. Well, thank you very much from Community Radio and Music of the World. That's it. And you're live right now on NCTV and broadcasting all over the world and, uh, for the Fourth of July Parade. All right. Well, thank you very much and happy Fourth. We are so blessed to have them in our community. Yes. A non-commercial radio station much like our community television is non-commercial. Well, and we have regular commercial and we have newspaper and uh, you know, it's just really unique for a community our size to have so much media right. being part of it. Going by is the Cascades of Grass Valley. It's a senior living presenting residents and staff in their van on, on foot doing a senior flash mob. Oh. Well, I think we missed the flash mob. Maybe closer to the judges booth. Yes. Well, this is a new entry right here. I've never seen Wheeler Chevrolet come in here, but they've got a nice collection. This is the High Sierra Corvette Club. Yeah, High Sierra Corvette Club. What kind of event we got here? 57. 57. How long you had it? 40 years. 40 years. Good for you. It looks in great shape. Now, that's some dedication right there, 40 years. I like the personalized license plate, Old Vet, and it was 57. I wonder if they mean by that by the car or the owner. <laughs> the owner. I think maybe both. My uh, uncle had a 63, uh, not the split top, but the solid back window. Oh, one. okay. And uh, I remember I got in trouble more than once for <laughs> taking it out when he was working graveyard, taking it to the beach. <laughs> Look at the stream of them, all colorful. Lots of red cars, white and blue, huh? All you have to remember is if you crashed a Corvette, you picked up all the pieces because they glued it all back together. <laughs> well, it's a great American story of a, a great American sports car uh, yes. developed by Chevrolet and uh, just has a great history. That first one that we saw uh, was in uh, portrayed in uh, the TV show Route 66, and oh, they yeah. would drive that around the country. So just really uh, a part of America's love affair with the automobile, and the Corvette Stingray certainly represents that era. And Route 66 is still very popular, especially with the Europeans. We've got Celtic dancing in front of the judges. That's why we're getting a little held up here. All part of the judging, and as we could uh, see, uh, Daniel, maybe we can have uh, uh, Tony turn around and look down the street and get a shot of that while we're stopped because uh, thousands of people are down on Pine and Broad and they're watching the uh, Celtic dancing going on down there. While we're doing that, I have a little tidbit of information. The uh, current fortune, their, their summer ritual is their annual 100 Great Things About America. And it's out now, I saw it on um, the internet. And it's their fifth year running the list. And the rules are, entries must be American, entries must be living, and entries must not repeat from fr free previous years. And, and, and what's this one for? This is 100 Great Things Done oh, in America. Ah, okay. Like, first one they put on was dog, doggedness, doggedness. We are not a nation of quitters. 
Through depressions, recessions, wars, natural and man-made disasters, we summon the grit to emerge stronger and smarter with each passing year. Another one's the Mardi, or the, uh, Mardi Gras, roller rinks, the American dream, rags to riches, laser tag, lemonade stands, and number 67 this year was the Burning Man, <laughs> which is very important to this area. Absolutely. Yeah. So if you have a chance, go to Fortune and look up their 100 great American items. Even craft mac and cheese is in there. An American staple. Well, yes. Like well, how about this? Americans consume about 155 million hot dogs on Independence Day. How about that? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a mustard only kind of guy. Hot dogs so and I. mustard. Yeah, we'll relish sometimes. Occasionally, but yeah. mostly, mu always mustard. Kind of a, a purist that way. <laughs> One of the people that's here today, I can see across the way, is uh, former head coach Dave Humphers of the Miners. Okay. Standing in the doorway right there as uh, the, the Corvette parade continues on its way. They must have brought all the Corvettes in from the United States for this parade. You know, I, I wouldn't think that there would be this many in Nevada County, so uh, who knows, they could have brought in other clubs, other yep. contingents. Uh, but I do a fair amount of driving around Nevada County and I don't, I don't see that many vets. Maybe right. they keep them in the garage. Yeah, they hide them away. Yeah. They have a big, um group though, the Corvette Club locally. Oh yeah. I'm sorry they didn't give us more information about them. This is kind of interesting. This is not quite as good as the bicycle or the motorcycle Christmas run, but close. <laughs> well the newer ones are something to behold with the disc brakes all the way around and quad pipes. Of course, the parade goes down Broad Street, takes a left at the bottom of the hill near the Alpha Building, and ends past the post office. So it does continue on around the corner. That looks like a 62, 63 convertible right there, that silver one. Somewhere in that era. I used to know all those. Now they all look alike except some of the sports cars. Well, they're having fun anyway. Yeah, they are. Cruising down Broad Street. And uh, as that contingent wrapped its way up, we're going to have our first uh, school band coming up. Of course, we had the Oprah Prison Band earlier in the telecast. And now it's time for the Union Hill marching band. One of two marching bands in our town. Lyman Gilmore has one as well. Yes. Sons of the American Revolution. They all can trace their lineage back to the patriots of the American Revolution. Wow. How, how interesting is yeah, that? Yeah, exactly. It's an offspring, the DAR, the daughters of. <laughs> right, well, the DAR I've heard of, and that's another interesting group to be able to trace your lineage back that far. And of course, it's yeah. so easy today with so many uh, online sites able to uh, follow your lineage for you. And right you know, really makes it easy to, to see where you came from. Next are the daughters of the American Revolution. It's not officially politically affiliated and the only requirement is membership is to prove direct lineage to a person who fought or gave aid during the American Revolution. One of the planning commissions of the uh, Nevada City, John Parent, is could be a son of the American Revolution. His mother was a DAR, traced their yeah. lineage back to the secretary to Adams. 
President oh. Adams. I'm not That's sure where my people were. I know where mine were. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to know, Gil? Te Texas <laughs> or Mexico, <laughs> I'm not sure. That wraps up that entry. And now here come the uh, Soapbox Box Derby. Derby. What an incredible, fun event that is held just a few weeks ago at Pioneer Park. And of course, it's a benefit for Pioneer Park to keep the amenities upgraded and improved. And from last year's proceeds, they donated three bottle refillers for the city. Nice. There's two in uh, Pioneer Park and one down by the chamber. Down the plaza. And here comes one of my favorites, Mrs. Potato Mrs. Head. <laughs> oh, the radio and flyer is one of the great And here comes the ideas. NCTV TV. contingent. All right. With the Tommy or Knocker. The Tommy Knocker challenge. There's uh, Moses. The Tommy Knocker. Let's go up here and say hi to Moses. Hi, Moses. How are you doing? Good. This ha is a great town. Happy Fourth of July. Oh, thank you. Happy Fourth of July. We love Nevada. Thanks for driving our float today. <laughs> yeah, I got the gold, right? You're gonna grab some gold there. The Tommy Knocker and CTV <clears throat> with the Can Can Girl and an ore car filled with, oh, and there's the uh, Minion cart. So cool. By Outside In, Aaron Thyme just walked over and said hello. You know, the Tommyknockers were the leprechauns the of leprechauns. the Cornish. And Moses was the perfect Tommyknocker to drive the ore car. Yes. Right, and here comes the Rich Bodine mobile. <laughs> oh, Juan Brown. Gil Dominguez, NCTV. Thanks for coming out, Gil. You got it. All right. Happy Fourth of July. Happy Fourth of July. Safe driving there. Yeah, I got my crew on it. Right, right. Got his crew, Juan Brown, and also his GoPro. And, uh... I'm not seeing uh, uh, any uh, child seat in that car. <laughs> <laughs> Fortunately, that's, they're not going too fast. That's next year. This is a cue ball in the side pocket, right? What's in there? Look what's in the side pocket. What's oh, in the here, side pocket? Right oh, right there. Yeah! yeah! Wow! <laughs> you don't want to show that to anybody. Whoa. <laughs> All right. We'll talk about that later, Gil. That, that's definite B-roll. Okay. Oh. I uh, love the soapbox derby. Okay, moving on. You knew. Old barn storage. And of course, uh, everybody loves their freeway signs that they put up there on the hill. Uh, be happy and publicizing a lot of different events. They've really taken that hill and put it, it made it into a, a public viewing area for all kinds of events that are coming up. But they're also supporting the New Day Counseling located in Nevada City. It's a nonprofit faith based counseling facility and they offer weekly support groups low-cost counseling healing through art workshops and much more a, a new day reaching our community with hope voted best mental health provider a new day give me four yeah, i'm buying you guys some water oh uh, gil you're so thoughtful thank you how nice. Thanks to the Boy Scouts for providing this service. There you go, take it all. Just, okay. Just give them a big tip. This is the Nevada City Lions going right in front of us. You ex they're exploring the outdoors and handing out flags to everyone that needs one. It saves me the trip back to the truck to get a water. <laughs> <laughs> I could hey. just go in City Hall and get one. Well, that's because you you're the privileged. Yes. <laughs> Special connections as a city clerk, right? Right. Here we got Bianca Water, too. Thank you. Okay, Rotarians at work, Nevada City Rotary. Let's go up here and talk to Dennis Gear. Hey, Happy Nevada Fourth of July! Hey, Happy Fourth of July! How you guys doing? We're doing good. And representing the Rotary Club in Nevada, Nevada City? Nevada City, the best Rotary Club in the country. There you go, you can't beat that. Come to our Wine and Adventures auction on September 19th. And will you, will you film it for us? You know, give me a call. All right, I will. Okay. All right. Hi, guys. Hi. Nevada City Rotary meets on uh, Thursdays right down here at the National Hotel. 
stop by, get a free lunch, and meet the members. They have their wine tasting coming up, of course, like you were saying. They've been serving our community for almost 80 years. And the international is still trying to end polio throughout the world. There are a couple countries short oh, wow. of eradicating polio worldwide. What a great endeavor that is. Yeah. That's why you go out and support their wine tasting. Well, the international does a lot of great things. And Rotary is all over the world. And we have uh, several clubs here, South County, Grass Valley, Penn Valley, and Nevada City. In front of NCTV is a uh, Remax performance. That's Come right, John Renwick. Come and celebrate the great outdoors of Nevada County with Remax performance. Friendly agents have a wealth of knowledge and experience and can guide you through the purchase of the sale of your home. John's a former uh, trustee of the school board down in South County, so very active in the community. Got a large entry today. Yeah, he's uh, even uh, pulling a float with a, uh, with a band. This country rocks. Well, let's take a listen. by a fellow Hoosier, Gil, John Mellencamp. <laughs> yeah. He has it together. Good people from Indiana. I can see we got some competition there across the street with, uh, with his single camera, gathering all the footage. If we need B-roll, we know where to go. <laughs> Gold Country Telecare. Old Country Telecare still going strong and now ce celebrating their 40th year serving wow. Nevada County. That is just so awesome that we could have that kind of service. Thank you, I need that. <laughs> 40 years and what a great service to our community for people that uh, need that, can't get around. And here they come right now. Love this. The high school band itself, Nevada Union High School. Let's take a listen. Does that bring back memory skill of years and years and years of marching band playing the clarinet? Oh. And here comes the NU Junior Miners cheer squads. You can see them out there. Totally cute. Okay, they're doing a fire break right behind us. Football season is just around the corner, Cheryl. They'll be soon practicing. And Dave Humphers gives him a big wave over there. Like I said, he's across the street. The first game this year uh, is Nevada Union versus Placer High School, a game that used to be a giant rivalry in our community back in the 60s and 70s returns for a brand new edition, and that's going to be really exciting for both communities. Will Touchdown Productions be covering it? Touchdown Productions will be there at Lefevre Stadium down at Placer for that great event. 
That's going to be August, uh, the last Friday in August. I believe it's the uh, 24th. California yes. Solar Electric For some Company. Way. <laughs> they are actually our neighbors to NCTV on Main Street. They certainly are. Exploring the power of nature. The most powerful element in nature is the sun. I'm feeling her right now. Yes, you, you're radiating the heat. Nice entry by our neighbors on uh, Main Street in downtown Grass Valley, California Solar Electric Company. I saw their uh, vehicle, yes, last night at the Thursday night market. Oh. And so it was uh, fun to go up and chat with them. So, uh, well, it is the future. There's no doubt about that. Well, speaking of solar power, at Burning Man, I go to Burning Man. <laughs> and I just hear, can I the judges the speaker? The, They're down there. Right. The highway leading into Burning Man has more solar panels per mile than any other wow. road in the United States because of Burning Man. Wow. Because <laughs> they bring huge arrays up there to power all the, everybody's right. solar They're stuff. Okay, coming down the road next. We've got a Pity Pet Funeral Products. Is that, yes it is, with the little kitty cat float. Oh, nice. <laughs> They dressed up their little four wheel. Shooting little air bubbles. Cute. And now, ladies and gentlemen, around the world, may we present the gals of Jazzercise. These girls have more energy. Jazzercise. Do we know if Paula Rodiger? Paula is, is here today. She is great. So is uh, Fran Cole, part All of right. this group. Makes me want to get up and move. <laughs> no. I, I no. May, I may move with them. I may feel the movement. There's a few guys in there, Gil. You could join them. Yeah, yeah. It's not just for women. No, it's not. Come on, Gil. Show us your stuff. Looking for our favorite. Oh, they could take a break. Boy, did I look out. There's Paula at the end. Okay. Paula at the end, where's she at? Oh, there's Fran. Hi, Fran. Hi. You Happy fun? I had a great fun. Jazzercise is wonderful. Thank you. Okay, Fran Cole joining the Jazzercise, and here comes our favorite Paula Rodiger. Hi, Paula. Hi, Gil. How are you? Fine. Is happy Fourth of July. Happy Independence Day to you, too. Are the girls having fun out there? We are. We always have fun. Come join us. All right. There you go. An invitation from Paula Rodiger to everybody at home. Come join them for Jazzercise. <laughs> Come join us. Bank Street, South Auburn Street, above Caroline's Coffee. She's one of the instructors, too, and it's filled with energy. Uh, here comes uh, Robert Wright. Tice Raskin, candidate. Tice Raskin, Tice uh, the Raskin. top vote getter for the judges this year. We'll see if we can get out here and get a, a word with Tice. Come on, Bianca. My camera person today is Bianca Cruz Manafort. Hey, Robert, how you hey, doing? I'm doing just great. Couldn't be happier than to be out here on the 4th of July in Nevada City. Happy 4th of July to you. The same to you and to the whole county. All right, and congratulations on you going to the next level. Hey, I sure am. Sure glad to have the support and looking forward to November. All righty, thanks a lot. And he's got his whole family right here. Came up from South County all the way to Nevada City. Takes about th three days to do that journey. <laughs> And of course, uh, Robert was one of our uh, candidates that we interviewed with the NCTV uh, election coverage. Yep, Nevada County decides 2014. So I'm sure we'll be hearing from him and his opponent, Anna Ferguson, uh, a little bit later as we get closer to elections in September or August. I guess Frank Peter brought one automobile with him, 1928 Model A. And uh, Nevada City what? There you go. Hi, guys. Congratulations. Little League just finishing up its run at Pioneer Park. 
And uh, Sierra Foothills from Colfax wound up winning Division Two, and then they were playing Lincoln yesterday. We saw the big contingent of uh, parents coming up from Lincoln. And now we have the Nevada County Democratic Party. And support for Heidi Hall for Congress. That's right, Heidi Hall, the big winner. Heidi, Heidi, Heidi Hall, they're saying. Heidi in the house. Is she in the house? I haven't seen her. Maybe that's why she might not be in the parade today, because she's in the house. <laughs> she's, she's watching a streamed live on our web. A rum -pum. <laughs> Thank you, Daniel. Our director, Daniel Paddock, telling us to quit jibber-jabbing. Healthcare for all. Daniel working his uh, final live show with us as he goes off to college, Cheryl. San Francisco State, starting in September, majoring in uh, Filmmaking and television. Good for him. I know. Directing our live parade today in the truck with Steve Baker. And encouraging us to move along. So <laughs> we are, I believe this is uh, coming up, move to amend. Speaking of moving along, just finishing up the um, Democratic Party and the health care for all entry. Yeah, this is all the health care for all. 60 floats uh, is what the list that we got, but generally there's uh, more that come in at the last second. We, we did have a few who weren't on the list. Now comes the health care for all. That account, oh, oh, they're down, sorry. <laughs> Sam, I'm not moving up the hill, I'm going downhill. Well, that, that's gravity, Neil. I know. <laughs> I'm learning that. It's hard to defeat gravity. And we have a, a big contingent right here of Nevada County moved to a man. I see it, maybe a hundred signs crisscrossing the street in a snake-like fashion. Moved to amend uh, to end corporate rule. They have a little uh, bio on them, Cheryl? Yes. Move to amend is the people's movement to take corporate money and influence out of politics and out of Congress. Move to amend is a nonpartisan national grassroots coalition that works toward overcoming corporate power by calling for a constitutional amendment which will abolish the concept that corporations have rights and declaring that money is not free speech under the First Amendment. Well, just a, a host of controversies like we were talking about yesterday with the party. And of course, uh, one of our most notable activists in town, Renette Senum in this group, Renette. All right, happy 4th of July to you. Thank you very much. We're having a great time. It looks like it. How many people do you have out here bringing the signs along? Oh, my God. We have dozens and dozens of people here um, kind of reminding Americans about um, move to amend and corporate personhood that's just come along in the last couple of years. Corporations aren't people. Corporations don't have a heart. So we're here to, to speak uh, to that and bring some light to the matter. But Renette Senum has a heart. Oh, I hope I do. <laughs> And especially on 4th of July. So nice to see you and Thank your group out here. Same, same here. Thank you, Gail. All right. Take Happy 4th to all you guys. Renette Senum there, former mayor and uh, city council person here in Nevada City. Still quite active in all of her uh, doings. And Neil, really uh, uh, one of the, uh, still continues to be one of the movers and shakers here in the city. Yes. Well, we'll What's particularly interesting about this entry is that each, everyone is holding one of the constitutional amendments with what the amendment is. And the year. And the year it was brought in. Right, we haven't Very got to the women's right to vote yet. It took 75 years to get that amendment passed. And that was started up here. There it is, 19th Amendment, 1920. It took 75 years to clear out Congress and the Senate of uh, the older generation that didn't think women belonged uh, in the voting booth. And all that activity started up here with Senator Sargent. 
and his wife, very, very active in it. And he died 40 years early before it passed. He didn't get to see it. He never saw it. But that it's nice that, uh, you know, the seeds of that began right here in Nevada County. Yes. <laughs> GMO, that's, that's very a, good. That's a great segue. <laughs> Speaking uh, of seeds, we have uh, Free the Seeds. And this is another stand right here where, as everybody knows, uh, Monsanto has uh, been altering uh, the seeds that our crops grow. Uh, used to be in the day you could buy an orange uh, at the supermarket or fruit and plant the seed and, and, and grow a plant. You can't do that anymore. They've uh, taken that genetics out of the seed itself. And that's the next big battleground for farmers. And of course, there's a lot of agriculture here in Cheryl, as you know, as being part of the Food and Farm Show, uh, many of the people that we interview uh, feel very strongly about local seeds. Absolutely. There is a Sierra Sea co-op that preserves our local seeds from right, year to Rowan year. Right, Rowan White heading that up. And this year they had a seed uh, CSA where you could sign up and they send you eight packets of seeds for four months. Nice. <coughs> Roundup's not the only danger to the bees. Our beekeepers are feeding them high fructose corn syrup and taking all their honey away. Oh. And if it isn't good for a human, it's not good for a bee. Right. Uh, I, as a beginning beekeeper, am not doing that. I'm sure uh, the young, the small beekeepers aren't. It's the ones, the, the greedy older ones, that want all the honey to be sold. Matter of fact, I just put a honey super on top of our hive yesterday, so now uh, we'll let the bees go to work and do their job. Nevada County Search and Rescue. An important service unique to our county with all the Tahoe National Forest around us and all the great hiking trails. And as we know, our theme today is Nevada County Explore the Great Outdoors. And they're there if we get into trouble. Uh, fortunately, we do not need them to find our way to NCTV and our new no. home on Main Street. That's right. Are you sure? In downtown Grass no, Valley. No, I'm not, but I got their number just in case. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm going through some physical therapy right now. One of these members is my therapist. Oh, uh, was it the dog? Is that what you're <laughs> No, but she has a dog. Oh. Yeah. The dogs are such an important uh, component to the search and rescue and highly trained. Beautiful. Right. What's, what's our dog that we're looking at here? Chaos is her name. She's Car 13 months. <laughs> Karma Chaos, yep. 13 months. Yep. And she's you train her yourself? Yes. And what's her specialty? Well, she's going to be an area dog, a cadaver dog, and an underwater recovery dog. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah. All right. Her sister's that, but I'm retiring her, so that's why we're starting up a new a new life here. Well, thank you so much for all your work with her. Well, you're welcome. Our right. pleasure. And last week they had their fundraiser, which last year bought the last two vehicles oh. of the parade. And they were so fortunate. They were so happy with that, with those vehicles. The all-terrain gets them around quicker. Yeah, and these are large, so they carry six people and their dogs. Well, it takes, and these are all volunteers uh, using their own resources to go out and look for you when you get lost. Yes. So just a, another tremendous group. It takes so many groups to make our community. And this one is unique to us because of our rural surroundings. Oh. Great to have them. Hi, everyone. Cheryl Noble, Neil Locke, and uh, Gil Dominguez is going to kid it right in here into the picture. But uh, having a fun time here at the 4th of July parade. Sure, I'm glad that you're able to join us. Remember, the parade will be broadcast immediately after it's over right today. And you can stay tuned to that on Channel 11, of course, on the web. And then it'll broadcast on Saturday night at 8 o'clock, Sunday at 10, and then multiple times throughout the month of uh, July. July. Yep. And it's almost as good as being here. Well, you'll be, you'll be cooler, I'll guarantee that. Yes. <laughs> and you have the libration of your choice. Sierra Stages and uh, Peter Pan coming up. Let's, let's get, a, let's get a uh, talk with Captain Hook. Captain! 
part of the Peter Pan cast from Sierra Stages. Captain, welcome to the parade. I thank you for having me. It's a bit hotter than Neverland, but I'm glad to be here. <laughs> it is a bit hot, and, and uh, so how do you combat the heat in Neverland? The Mermaid's Lagoon. It's the best place to take a dip. <laughs> and you might even catch a mermaid. <laughs> there you go. Great words. Well, thank you, and happy Fourth of July. Happy Fourth of July. Peter Pan this summer at the Nevada Theater from July 10th through August 2nd. Mermaid Lagoon. Uh, now, Gil. I'm, I'm, I'm going to Google that. <laughs> now, <girl. laughs> Easy. You know, it's got to be here in Nevada County. Let's talk about Neo. Neo. Yes. What a great job they're doing. Their drive for a youth center will not be quenched until they have taken a hold of one. Yes. Good for them. Well, Vibrant. Thriving youth group. They had one in Grass Valley years ago. Time they get another. Not Neo, but another youth group. Well, they youth had Center. a very, uh, their own uh, uh, spot over at the Thursday Night Market. And actually, that's how they developed. That's how they started over at the Thursday Night Market. Uh, a place for the youth to gather and have bands. And uh, the current Thursday Night Market uh, doesn't have that same uh, space for them. But uh, out of that, uh, grew this desire to have a youth center and uh, these people are just full of energy and there's not a doubt in my mind that if the homeless can have a shelter then Neo can have a youth center. Yes. As I said there was one where Keynes is now was a youth center. Oh interesting. That was back in I think the 80s. Let's listen to the band. And their great revolving drum set. Base. I bet that's a hot tin. <laughs> oh no, it's a hot cat on a hot tin roof or something. Their theme song, they'll keep fighting to the end till they get their community center. Good. That's, not the, a, Amer that's the American spirit. Not a doubt in my mind. <clears throat> now we've got West Coast Salvage Company coming in front of our announcer's booth. Specializing in salvage, reclaiming, restoring, recycling, repurposing, fabrication, and welding. And this Bronco is totally resalvaged. 1983 Bronco looks in great condition. Llamas. Llamas for everybody. Neil, take one home. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to. It fit in our yard. Lynn, I'm bringing home a llama. Here are some of the local llamas all dressed up for today's parade. I'm sure Zuby would like a llama. Dino. And, and your dog. What would you name it? Wow. What would you name your llama? Oh. <laughs> Come over and give him a kiss. <laughs> Hi. Not sure what Are llamas name. fun? Your llamas are fabulous. They're what? wonderful, smart, intelligent creatures. <laughs> What's the best thing about a llama? <laughs> Trying to kiss and Gil. Traveling with us and come to parades and we can have a marvelous time with them. All <laughs> right. Keep, well, keep him socialized. And, yeah, uh, yeah, he looks very so. Yeah, he was checking happy, out my beard. Very happy campus. He didn't know whether I was a llama or not. I see some resemblance there. There is. Kiss and, kiss and kin. <laughs> Good job. Thank you. All right. Get out, here comes one of our friends, Robert Bergman. Robert, how you doing? Ha Happy Fourth of July. Look at your assistant. Yes, right. We, we, we've got Neil Locke working with us this year because uh, his vast knowledge of Nevada City. Deep knowledge, it's true. Oh my it's God, true. we can't even, we're just scratching the surface right here. We only got two hours. Is that all? <laughs> <laughs> so how are you doing today, enjoying the parade? I, I was doing, yeah. Just wandering up and down the street, as Great. usual. I do that from... Well, ungodly hours too. until ungodly hours. It's unusual to be out in the daytime. Great turnout, though, for you guys. 
It is. It's nice to see the streets filled and everybody chipper and charming. Well, you were on the float earlier, right? I was. Okay. Always on a float. <laughs> yeah. I was, uh, we talked to Sally, but I didn't mm -hmm. uh, didn't see where you were up there. You must have been on the other side of the street. Correct. All right. Well, listen, happy 4th of July. You too. Thanks a lot for letting us uh, broadcast the parade here again this year. We really appreciate it. Oh, let you. It's a joy to have you, as you know. <laughs> All righty. Mm -hmm. Great Take Robert, care. a true politician. Robert Bergman from the city council. And next up is the Nevada oh, County Horseman. And here's a, something near and dear to Bianca's horse uh, heart. Bianca, <laughs> what kind of a horse are we looking at there? Do you know? Uh, the first one looks like an Appaloosa. I'd say the second one is probably a quarter horse. Uh, probably the bay. The third one down is probably a quarter horse as well. So we have a nice uh, representative of some of the most popular breeds in Nevada County. And, and what do they walk on on this kind of hard pavement? They have a special kind of shoe that they're using. Uh, it looks like they probably just have their regular um, metal shoes on, but they have to be careful because it's slippery when they have the metal or iron shoes against the asphalt, so they do have to be extra careful. And they got and their hooves all painted nicely. Yes, nice and sparkly. <laughs> sparkly. I love it. Sparkling hooves. They were in there for that uh, Manny Petty. <laughs> They've got sparkles on uh, near their tail, too. Well, and right behind, uh, them, glitter. Is, right behind them is the super... Super duper pooper scooper. Yeah, see, they they don't have a carriage to automatically collect it, so they've yeah. got uh, the manual. Yeah, we can go out here and talk to uh, the pooper scooper, Bianca. Let's go out here. Now, you've got one of the funnest jobs of the whole parade. <laughs> it's my poop float. It's the poop float. Oh, I, I should have guessed. And what's it? Not too much of a collection here today. Oh, I've got lots of candy, lots of treats. Would you like to try one? Oh, out of the poop float? <laughs> yeah, give me a, I, I, there we go. There we go. I got, I got some real, uh, you know, this York peppermint mint, the way it's melted, it's got the similar consistency. Right behind the, the super duper pooper scooper is the Nevada County Transit Service, Gold Country Stage and the Gold Country Lift. The County of Nevada's transit services has provided our Western Nevada County public transit for nearly 40 years. You know, and, and that's another feature of this community that uh, way ahead of its time, especially for being a small rural area that uh, recognizing that people needed to get around and uh, really put some energy, thought, a lot of money yes. in, into uh, this whole system and still keeping it alive today. So uh, some good foresight there by our county leaders. And now with the economy improving, they're expanding their pickup runs again. The Parsonage is next. We saw him with the, uh, Evan Strong, the Grand Marshal. Yeah, and we'll go up and talk to Chuck Shea one more time just because I love the guy. I'm a big fan of Chuck Shea. Chuck, second time around. Mac, it's his birthday today. All right. So he's getting a special carriage ride as part of our parade in Nevada City. All right. Well, I love your special carriage ride, especially when you take him up around uh, to the, uh, uh, the, the Wizard of Oz house. Oh, the Wizard of Oz house, the Tin Man house. Yeah. The, the Tin Everybody Man should house. go check out the Tin Man house. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. Thank you. Really and welcome to Nevada you. County. Happy Fourth of July. Thank you. Parsonage, of course, a bed and breakfast just up on top of uh, Broad Street. Speaking and of... Chuck Shea, the owner up there. Speaking of birthdays on the 4th of July, Calvin Coolidge is the only president to be born on the 4th of July. So oh, there you go. I didn't know that one. Yep, there you go. No, I got I one on you, I huh? keep learning. <laughs> Grandma <laughs> Daniels was uh, July 3rd, so she got close. That doesn't count, only in My horseshoes grandma. and hand grenades. And uh, atomic bombs. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no issue with that one. <laughs> I grew up before that, that existed. We're looking at the Rough and Ready Fire Protection District. Right. Now, you, this is your second trip down. Yeah. 
Now, you're not starting the parade anymore, right, George? Not anymore. I give it up after 23 years. This so. is but it was fun. Are, are they doing it correctly up there? I went up and checked on them, and they're doing perfect. Just the way I thought them. All right. So I'm very pleased with them, yeah. Well, you know, if George Kathy, ain't, Kathy if George taught ain't me happy. Every, <laughs> Kathy taught me everything she knows. So yeah, that's right. Well, she's a good, very good aunt. She's a good lady so, also. Yeah. Is she up on top of the hill? Yeah, of course. All right, there, Kathy Wilson. Banner. Right. And who else was up there? Ah, he's doing fine. Uh, right. Tim. Uh, blah, blah, blah. All right. Well, nice to see you. And happy for you July. again. This looks pretty good. Well, thank you, sir. Okay. All good. right. Going by in front is now Suburban Propane. Yeah, they moved from their uh, Main Street headquarters. And now it's Outback Drilling. Looks like he's getting set there to uh, drill a hole right in the middle of Broad Street. Well, Vern Taylor would become very upset over that. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, Vern Taylor needs to, uh, you know, see that they pulled the proper permit. And, of course, after that, the end of the parade, it's the Oprah Prison Band. And one thing I really like about the end of the parade, Cheryl, is that all the residents from the top of the hill, join in the join parade in. and walk down the hill. Kind of like a flash mob a little bit. Right. It is a flash mob. I better get my cable out of the way here. A Nevada City flash mob. Rupert? And don't forget it, that when they end up, they'll be down and do a concert for a little while. Let's take a listen. Now, now, the rubber chicken been dragged down many roads here in many parades over many years as the contingent of Nevada County residents and guests alike now begin the, ce the ceremonial marching down the street. Signifies the end of the formal parade. Probably to follow the band down to National Hotel where they can listen to them. That's true. They will perform down there and have uh, three or four or five songs down there for everybody. Well, what a great parade once again. Nevada County and uh, Nevada City this year putting on a great job. Next year it's going to be in downtown Grass Valley. Yeah, our position over there is uh, uh, right at the corner, well, right in front of the Del Oro, right there at Mill. As and they make their turn. South Auburn Street. And uh, Daniel, if we can get uh, Bianca over here, that'd be great. And uh, maybe we, we can get a, a, a shot over here and talk with Steve Monahan. Steve, how you doing? Great. How are you doing, Gil? I'm doing fine. Uh, we were talking about, uh, you know, so many of the great things that go on here in this county, and of course, you're a member of uh, all of that. Uh, but what a great turnout today for the parade! It's fantastic. I always love coming down to these parades and seeing the community spirit. And, and it's really infectious, whether it's here in Nevada City or in Grass Valley. Uh, the, the, one of the fun things is you get to march on the parade yourself. Yeah, yeah. Well, I had my kids do it one year when they were doing karate. It was a blast. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, this year it looks like you got to, you're just taking it easy. Taking it easy this year, yeah. You got your beautiful wife right here next to you. Yep, Lisa. Lisa, hi. My, Happy Fourth of July. My son Devin down on the end. And son Devin all down here joining the parade. Well, listen, yeah. thanks a lot for joining us here uh, in Nevada City and of course next year we'll be at the Grass Valley. Right. Thank you. All right. Here. Steve Monahan from uh, the county, uh, just one of the many parade goers here in Nevada City as we get ready to uh, wrap up our our time here. Uh, Cheryl, I think it's uh, let's go to a break first though uh, as soon as our director tells us that we're ready to go with that and uh, then we'll come back. Oh, we'll look at that. We're ready Perfect for break. Time. From my Stick lips to, to God's ear. <laughs> it's an opportunity to thank our sponsors for broadcasting us today. So. Yeah, we have a couple new ones too. Atria, 
a Tris in your living uh -huh. and network real estate underwrote the broadcasting for today. Yeah, brand new for NCTV and, and what a great job. Thank you guys so much. So let's go ahead and take a break. You're watching exclusive coverage of the 112th annual Independence Day Parade this year coming from Nevada City right here with Touchdown Productions and NCTV. We'll be right back with some closing comments. Network Real Estate began because two people believed a real estate company founded on such principles as integrity, professionalism, and customer service could help buyers and sellers make their dreams of property ownership a reality. Today, more than 30 years later, Kathy and Bill Papola have grown Network Real Estate into a successful business and community leader, staffed by people who share their dedication to achieving your complete satisfaction. Network Real Estate. Welcome to Atria Senior Living. Atria offers independent and assisted living, life guidance memory care, and temporary stays for those recovering from surgery or want to sample all of Atria's benefits. Residents enjoy an array of year-round activities that promote learning, creativity, exercise, and spirituality. Atria is a pet-friendly community conveniently located at 150 Sutton Way in Grass Valley. Services, amenities, lifestyle, and care. Atria Grass Valley, for you or a loved one. Are you ready to buy or sell your home or property? Placer Title is your local title and escrow company located right here in the heart of Nevada County. We combine the stability of a national insurer with all the benefits of on-site title and escrow professionals. Being voted the best title company by the union readers for the past seven years is a true testament to our local roots and unparalleled customer service. Stop by one of our two convenient locations and thank you for keeping your business local. It's time to visit the newly remodeled BNC True Value Home and Garden Center. The new BNC has completely changed for your shopping convenience. Their new expanded garden center has everything you need, including expert advice on trees, shrubs, and perennials. Check out their new website and the new spring hours. And thank you for voting BNC the best hardware and building supply in 2012. So start right, start here at BNC True Value Home and Garden Center. We're at SPD Market in Nevada City asking people what they like about SPD. I've been shopping here for about 20 years and the people are very courteous and I especially like the meat counter. It's nice, you have a great selection, very helpful. Because it's local, it's small, they have wonderful selections of things I need and the personnel are very nice. And that's why people love SPD Markets in Nevada City and Grass Valley. Welcome to Plaza Tire and Automotive Service in Grass Valley. At Plaza Tire and Automotive Service, the customer comes first. We only do what's right for the customer, not necessarily what's right for business. Third generation family member, learned all that I know from my grandpa Fred, my dad, my uncle Mike, my grandma. My entire family's been a huge part of learning about the automotive industry. Grass Valley is our fourth location, and you can also find this in Colfax, Penn Valley, and Nevada City. I am Blake Hauser, and I welcome you to join us for the grand opening at our Grass Valley location. Welcome back, everybody. We're closing out the parade with a few reminders that uh, the festivities and celebrations continue at the fairgrounds. Gates open at 3 p.m. We can go out for bands. Treat Street is open. Music, entertainment, of course, fireworks later. And another reminder that our 4th of July parade coverage will continue immediately after this replay and then shown throughout the month of July on NCTV, Channel 11, and Sunlink 16. And don't forget to become a member of NCTV. So we have our brand new studios over on Main 128, isn't it? 134 East Main Street. There you go. I knew I was wrong. <laughs> 134 East Main Street, right across from PG&E and City Hall. We're right downtown. Come by, check out the studio. We just had a very successful uh, Be a TV host class. And, uh, more that, classes to come. More classes how to, how to, to come. How to use iMovie. 
And uh, of course, we'll have uh, uh, continue with Nevada County elections 2014 as we get closer to November. Lots of fun things happening, and we'd love for you to get involved. And we also have many films that are being in production now for a world premiere in October. A lot of good things happening at, at your community television station. We invite you to come down at 134 East Main Street. Next next door to the uh, Grass Valley Chamber, who's our member. And so. let's thank Neil also for joining us. Neil, thanks so much. Thank you for inviting me. It's been fun. It has been. All and right, so uh, for Cheryl Noble, Neil Locke, I'm Gil Dominguez. We'll see you next year in Grass, Grass Valley. Valley. Bye, everybody. Won't see me.